Can you find the domain and range of this problem? So we're given this graph and we want to find the domain and range of the graph. So let's remember that the domain is just all the possible x values of a function and the range is all the possible y values of a function. So domain, we're talking about the x values. On a graph, we're going to look from left to right, okay? So what's the farthest left point that we have on our graph? Well, it'd be even with this line right here. Okay, so think of that as kind of like a boundary or a fence that's preventing this graph from going any further to the left, okay? And that line is at negative two. So I'm just gonna make a note that that's at negative two, okay? And we have a filled in circle, so that means that it includes negative two. So that means the domain is x is greater than or equal to negative two because it continues to go to the right forever and ever. So the domain is x is greater than or equal to negative two. If you wanted to write that in interval notation, you would write bracket negative two comma infinity with your parentheses. Now the range is just the same thing, but we're looking up and down because we're looking at the y values. So same thing, I'm gonna make my boundary where the graph doesn't go any further down. And so that's gonna be like my fence or boundary that keeps this graph from going any further down the graph. And this line is even with negative one. Okay, so I'm gonna make a note. So our graph goes greater than negative one and it also equals negative one because it's a filled in circle. Again, it's not an open circle. So that means my range is y is greater than or equal to negative one. And then my interval notation would be brackets, negative one, comma, infinity, parentheses, and that is all you have to do. So I hope this video was helpful. Hit that follow button, like this video, and leave a comment and tell me what kind of topic do you want to see next. Me and Chuck say goodbye.